Hi and good evening, welcome to my Facebook Live. I do a regular slot on a Tuesday at 8.30. Tonight I've got quite an exciting thing with you because it's all very unpredictable. It's a bit of an experiment because we're playing with what's called pigment sprinkles, which are kind of a fine pigment powder with, I don't know, magic in it. <laughs> um, paint in it, so when it gets wet, it reacts to the water. So it's pretty amazing. So I've been doing a little bit of preparation before I've come on tonight, before I get started. Really sorry about the voice. You might be able to see my red nose. I've, I am suffering from a cold, but I'm, I'm determined to get through this because I'd like to do a YouTube live after this as well. I've been doing a Christmas countdown, doing 12 different projects. And um, we've done cards and decorations and a bottle holder. And tonight I've got another idea or ideas for some more cards to show you. So straight after this at nine o'clock, I'll be going over to YouTube. Welcome, Samantha. Great to see you. Do say hello if you're popping on so I know who's around. Is that Vicky? I can see. I think I can see Vicky. So welcome. So um, in the post, I think it was today, landed um, a stamp set that I've been wanting for a little while called Seaside Notion. Um, you'll be able to see this a bit more clearly in a mo. And um, <laughs> at least you can't catch my cold exactly thank you um i was involved with doing a challenge for um demonstrators at my level so who are at bronze or bronze elite level and um because as i've been completing these challenges week by week it said that you could treat yourself so i decided i was going to put two pounds of my own money towards hello bobby sorry um, let me finish my sentence. Two pounds towards putting it to a stamp set that I wanted. And I think this was about the right sort of price. So I went for this while it was in the sale. Um, let's turn you around and then we'll get started. You can share this out if you care to do so. Just swing my light across so we can see what we're doing. So I've already gone ahead. I'm not going to show you too much straight away because I want to hold some things back. Um, okay, let me just put, actually, I'm just going to put these off to the side. <laughs> okay, so pigment sprinkles is what I was talking about. Um, this is here is um, the new watercolour paper that Stampin' Up's out, and it's cold press paper. There is a difference between cold press and I think maybe hot press, or there's another kind of press. So this is different from what we used to sell. It's really nice watercolour paper. This is shimmer white paper, so it's got like a, a shimmery glitter to it. It's not watercolour paper, but it treats the paper differently from watercolour. And I wanted to kind of give you a very quick walkthrough of um, about pigment sprinkles and how you can use them, and then actually use them on some emboss resist technique. So um, I hope all that makes sense. Sorry about the messy papers underneath. I just want a pile of messy paper because they will get soaking wet. So with pigment sprinkles, <clears throat> like I said, they're reacted by water. So there's different ways of doing this. You can either put your water on first and your sprinkles on afterwards, or you can put your sprinkles on first. So um, I also wanted to show you some examples I did earlier. So I'll just put those by. Okay, so let's grab out all oh, uh, Mango Melody. So I'm just going to show you maybe on two sides what it looks like. Now these come with three little holes and I ever so lightly tap it. Now <laughs> I learned fairly quickly that you do not need a lot at all. Um, can I, before I go on, I can see a lot of people popping in and out. Can you tell me if you're struggling with the reception or if something's going wrong? Because if that is the case, I'm just checking my Wi-Fi signal. If that is the case, I might have to restart the um the live but i can see people hopping in and out and i don't know if there's an issue so if you could comment and let me know that'd be great it just keeps flagging up that people are watching and i don't know if that's because there's some kind of problem <laughs> i can't see any other comments other than the fact that you guys are watching debbie says she's fine here in the usa it might just be might just be a technical glitch because i've got it says Yvonne's popping up and Bobby seems to keep coming and going. I'll, I'll carry on in the hope they're okay. <laughs> Don't start, Bobby. Okay, thank you. That's fine. Right, 
So what I did earlier, which is really fun, was you see those tiny, tiny pigment sprinkles. I, I flicked the bottom like this and tapped it underneath, okay? And that might not look much, but look, this is where the magic happens. This is just a water spritzer and with water inside or a spritzer with water so I should have filled this up before I came on and I'm going to um, spritz this on here hi there everybody coming in and the more you spritz it the more you can see that pigment showing it is so cool and fun to do and in the pigment sprinkles you can see like tiny bits of blue and orange so you know don't be surprised if you see other colors that that is normal so the other thing you can do with this is to wet your paper first you can either spray it see the pigment goes everywhere you can see there or you can actually rub down your paper like this I'm just going to use the same color to give you an example and you can come on tap the sprinkles on afterwards which gives you a completely different look let me put it on the more wet part you might be able to see so this is on watercolor paper so it reacts really differently from our shimmer paper okay so it just kind of gives you an idea of what this, you could do so much with these um and you kind of don't know what you're going to get now if you're not happy with it you can brush it in and just create a background if you wanted um let the color sit do what you like if you like that bit you could leave it Da, da, da. you get the idea okay so earlier I had a quick play and um, so this was the gorgeous grape color and it's got these beautiful tones of blues and pinks um, they are like brushos because there is something out there called brushos but they kind of react slightly differently a little bit more unpredictable I've heard um, and then I did this one as well which I was really pleased with so again, it was that tapping technique underneath. Where I just put a tiny bit, tapped underneath, and it just spread the colour along the middle. Okay? So that's the sprinkles. So you can heat set that. You could dry it. I, I can smudge this in if I wanted to. You can let that dry, create a background. You could put more colour on there if you wish. Um, but I, I want to crack on because I've got other things I want to show you. I'm just going to put this on a paper towel to the side. Um, and I want to show you my new stamp set. Okay, so this is a new stamp set I was telling you about. It's called Seaside Notions and it's got lovely kind of sketchy images, um, like beachy type images and sea images. Really useful um, sentiments in this as well. So I've gone ahead and been doing some heat embossing, uh, which some of you will know how to do. So what I wanted to show you is other ways of being able to use these sprinkles. So, for example, I'll just take out the... Um, what I like to do is to create a palette on one of my blocks and just um, tap a bit of... Try and remember which colour's which. <laughs> It does get a bit muddly when you've got lots of colours on there. So that's the Granny Apple Green. This is Bermuda Bay. I mean, even that's quite a lot, believe it or not. Bermuda Bay. Let's get a bit of Melon Mambo. Oh, that's a lot as well. You can cover the holes, but I like to have them as they are, to be honest. So that's Melon Mambo. So let's put some gorgeous grape over here. You'll be amazed how long these last. They last for ages and ages. And we'll go in with a bit of Mango Melody. Mr UPS bought me that set today and my sprinkles are in my basket. Fantastic. I hope this inspires you. Okay, so don't worry. I know that is doesn't look green, but it does come out green. So don't, don't worry about the fact of how it looks. So I'm just going to put a blob of water next to it. <clears throat> if I can without taking too much colour so and then you can dip it in like that and what should we do with this let's um well let's have a green seahorse so you can paint paint with the what colour is that where's my blue one gone <laughs> you can use this to actually paint um your oh, I can't talk your image <laughs> like so um 
and let's see what else we can do so this is an aqua pen so it's got water in here and I'm just squeezing it to the brush tip let's use a bit of purple for that coral so you could just lay down that colour is that the purpley one? what colour is this? oh that's my melon mambo so you can mix the colours as well look I'm going to do a colour wash actually let's see where we go Squeeze a bit more. Okay, too much water. Let's get that there. So because I'm mixing the colours, I'm creating new colours as well. So I'm just going to do a really lovely bright colour wash on there. So the, again, this is the Shimmer White cardstock. If you wanted to, you could pat it dry, but it does obviously dilute the colour. So let's see if we can get a kind of a brownie colour for the sea bed down here. <laughs> There we go, and then maybe a bit more bluey green for the around here. Just going to keep merging that together. I don't know what's going on with the phone. All I can see is your name scrolling by, saying that you're watching. So I don't know quite what's going on there. So these are so fun. You can use it as a palette. You can use it to to mix and match and create um, scenes like I'm doing here. I'm just going to quickly finish this off. And the colours just go on and on and on. It's incredible. And you kind of never know quite how your colours are going to come out, you know, because you keep mixing them. It's just got to be a bit more free with your, um, with your artwork. Don't be too controlling. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. A little bit random, but there you go, <laughs> to shows you that you can colour in. And this, as I said, the gold resists through. You could try this off with a heat tool as well if you wanted to. Okay, let's try something else. Let's put that to one side. Um, okay, another thing I've done is I've, I've embossed this in white. You probably could, you could barely see that. So what I'm going to do is do another colour wash, but we're going to go all the way across our paper. So I'm going to pick up this green and do a look, look at that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous green, granny apple green. And I'm going to start merging it with a bit of that blue. And now you can see the picture. It's like a magic picture, isn't it? You know when you're kids and you get like magic pictures, you paint over and it comes to life. So I'm going to keep mixing another colour and just do, so I did all the hard work before I came on, <laughs> did some um, heat embossing so that you didn't have to watch me and hear me with my tool doing that. Look at that, it's so cool. Now I can't see comments again so if you are commenting I'm really sorry. Um, no, you can already see the colours spreading in there, that's really fun. And you can always go back and highlight areas that you want to, say the seahorse. Get a bit more green. Like so. Could you guys all just like say something? Just because I think my phone is going slightly crazy. I don't know what's going on there. So I'm just going to highlight the seahorse, maybe highlight some of the coral. And like I said, this resists where I've put down that heat embossing, so it's quite fun to play with. It's almost like Bartek. Right, do you know what? Let me just put on my other device because I can't see anything that's going on. It's a bit unnerving, I'm not used to it. Oh, I can see one comment, thank you. Let me just hopefully see if this will. Sorry, bear with me, technical issues here. Ah, good. I can see comments. It's fine. I think I'm just panicking that I can't see. No, I can't even call it up on my device. Never mind. I'm going to carry on because I'm going to run out of time. That is okay. Now, these always dry slightly differently from maybe what you expect as well because remember, they get watered down. So it will look different um, when it's completely dry. You can see on that right side there, the coral already looking a bit different. 
but the more colour you add, the more it will show up, like this here. You can just keep going having a play. Just um, see what you can come up with. So I'm going to leave that one. Am I using shimmer white? This is shimmer white. Yes, this is shimmer white cards. So the first, the very first one that I did with you um, was the our new watercolour paper, but this is on shimmer white. You've got a little bit more control as to where things go with the um, shimmer white cardstock. So there you go, that's on white. Let's do some more. Um, so this one, I've embossed it in black. Again, what should we do with this? I've done colour wash, colour mixing. Um, let's have a think. We could be a bit more precise about what we colour on this one. So maybe just colour in the shells. So it goes such a long way. I mean, this is still from the same batch of um, colour that I've had um, on the palette to begin with. So it's it's quite neat actually to just if you um, heat emboss a whole load of stuff to start with, or you could do stuff freehand. You know, do feel that you're limited to um, having to do emboss resist like this. You can do stuff freehand. Um, it's just fun to create backgrounds and different things. There we go. So these can all be used for cards and for backgrounds and all sorts of different things. Let's go, I'm thinking these wants to be a purpley colour. And you could probably go back and maybe colour in between these if you wanted to as well. And then let's just get a bit of pinky. Now I did do want to give you a tip, another tip, <laughs> with your palette. So don't feel that if you finished colouring you're finished with your palette, so just keep that beside you, okay? There we are, All right? Um, let's grab on another one. So, I just wanted to show you something else you could do with your stamp set. Here I have stamped those little shells and created flowers with these. Um, I'm just going to give them this sort of colour wash because I'm, I want to show you something else. These kind of curly tentacles here I've used as kind of curly kind of you know you can find them on um plants like creeper plants that sort of they let out tentacles don't they it reminded me of that so this bit of my abstract painting <laughs> and then let's we could fill this in with a bit of more color let that merge together a bit more like so. Like I said, I do apologise if anybody's saying anything and I'm missing comments. I, um, I think something's not quite right on the screen tonight, but there you go. Cool. Okay, so let's just show you another way of being able to use that stamp set. All right, I've left, left the best till last as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you might not think so, but <laughs> look at that. Isn't that lovely? I like that. Nice and colourful. Right, so earlier I not only embossed this but I um, also put in some fine tip glue pen which acts as a, oh what's the word? Um, not a fill, um, I can't remember what the name is I'm trying to think of but so basically when I go over this it won't fi uh, fill the parts that I've put the glue in so I've let the glue dry and it will resist those parts like we've been doing but I wanted to actually cover the picture a bit more so I think for this I might stick to one colour I'm just going to get an another block out um, should we just do some Bermuda Bay because it's nice and sea themed isn't it just going to put that on there and I'm just going to do a one over all wash on this, I think. 
get plenty of I'm going to start at the top let that just drip down just try and get a bit more concentrate at the top and this will take the water you know it doesn't soak it as quickly as water colour but um, it does just hold the the uh, colour and the, the water um, a bit more than plain paper would so I'm just going to carry on with that wash Let's see if we can get it lighter down here then you can start seeing where it's resisting where the pigment is going so this look, it does look like Bartik doesn't it Loads of fun. Has anyone got these sprinkles? So these products I'm using tonight are available at my online shop, so you can head over to stampingstarcreations.co.uk to purchase these things. This stamp set, these sprinkles. Or if you're new to it or want the hobby or want to know about joining my team, you can be in contact with me. I'd love to chat to you about it. I might just go over with paper towel. And just dab those areas where I've done the resist. That's the word I was looking for, resist. Not refill, resist. It does look like Bartik, doesn't it? That's so cool. Has anybody got these sprinkles? Not seeing comments again. <laughs> I quite like that actually, how up, if, you, if you suck it up with the uh, tissue, you get a whole different effect and leave some sort of swirls. Let's add a bit more. The other thing you could do this is actually. Um, Without knocking it, oh look, I knocked it on my work, that was clever. Is actually do splatters, just like bubbles. I've dabbed them all off now, haven't I? Hi there, Eileen. I think people are commenting, maybe you're just concentrating. <laughs> maybe I'm concentrating and ignoring messages, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to. Let's heat set that because I want to see how this <coughs> this comes out. So it's just a heat tool. You can use this for heating up your projects or for heat embossing. Oh yes, look at that. There's a really cool underwater look. So this might warp because it is wet. Hi there, Darlene. Well, we've started and I've done, this is my fifth project, <laughs> so you might have to go back and catch some of the replay. Just going to give it a quick blast, sorry about the noise, just want to get it dry quicker than it's drying already. Okay, that'll do. Oh, good morning, Francis. Great to have your company. I was thinking that I couldn't see comments, but I, th I think they are there, or people are just watching rather than commenting tonight. So how fun is that? I love it. Oh, how exciting. I might do this in every colour. I think I'll do that. Um, so I'm just going to leave that to one side a second. Oh, I was going to tell you a top tip to do with this. And then I'll come, in fact, I'll come back to that. So I've got about, what, four, three minutes. <laughs> and then I'm going to go over to YouTube to do my Christmas countdown. So with your block, don't waste the colour. So where is... Here it is. So I've got some of our watercolour paper, okay, and I'm just going to go side to side to side to side to side like this. And then get either a piece of watercolour paper or um, shimmer paper, I just want this fairly central if I can, and drop that on your block. Drop it on your block. Drop it on your block. So this is watercolour paper. The rest I've been using with the embossing is shimmer white. So I'm going to turn my block over and you get an idea of what you can see. So because I've turned it over, I can see where that colour is going or where it's not going. 
if I did this on shimmer paper it would spread out a lot a lot more just gonna lift that away how cool so you can use this um, I could dab that off or I could just I'm gonna just let that dry naturally and I mean I could already see like a if I put a, a black line there a tree I've got like a, almost like a um, what's the word not a silhouette a reflection <laughs> my words are not coming tonight a reflection so this is the watercolor paper all these here I've been using are the shimmer paper okay so these are the ones we've done earlier I've got, an, got a smudge on that so I wanted to show you one more thing I'm just gonna put this to the side a second and let that soak in so I've got about two minutes right two minutes so um, we are selling in the current Christmas catalogue these masks and I thought these would be really fun which one should we use I think this one um, and maybe get out say like a quickly grab I think I'll get out Coastal Cabana abstract is cool <laughs> now the great thing about these masks is because you can see through them let me move that's getting a bit soggy you can see where you're going to rub the colour so what's the time two minutes okay that's fine oh these brushes are a little bit pinky let's find a brush that's okay Oh, thank you, Darlene. So I'm just going to tap this into my Coastal Cabana and just give it a little brush off. And then I'm going to go back, not covering it, but just in places. I'm going to go over with this, um, with this mask or this stencil in areas. Just to give it yet another effect. So like I said, not all over, but just in some places on my... And then give it a little sneak peek like that. Check what's going on. And we're going to lift it away. Ta-da! Oh, that's a cool pattern for the seahorse, isn't it? Wow. What do you think of that, guys? So, crazy patterns and unpredictableness. Might, might have to go over this one. It's got a bit smudged. With the um, sprinkles. It's, they're so fun to work with and to colour mix as well. So I was hoping to do a YouTube about the colour mixing actually. I might have to come back and do that another time with you guys. But for now, I need to go and sort myself out because I'm going to head over to YouTube for my Christmas countdown. So if I can show you, up there are some of the projects I've been doing in my Christmas countdown. So if you head over to my um, Stampin' Up! page on YouTube which is Stampin' Star Creations you'll um, catch me there like now I'm supposed to be there so I'm gonna head off and say goodbye um, if you've got any comments if you can leave them um, on this post so that I can catch them because I've said this hundred times and I'll say it again I don't seem to be catching the comments tonight so thanks so much for watching I'm heading over to YouTube now so catch me over there if you want to do some more crafting I'll be working with the snow front stamp set to do some Christmas cards to show you something a little bit alternative over there. Thank you so much for joining me. It's great to have you on here with me tonight. I'll be back. Am I back next Tuesday? I can't remember. I'll let you know. <laughs> There's one week that I know I'm definitely not around. Take care. God bless. Hopefully I'll see you in a mo. Bye everybody.